So it's the early 2000s. A female vocal is recorded in Leighton, East London. It goes on to become synonymous with the grime world over the next two decades. But who was the vocalist? And what is the mystery behind the Rhythm and Gash Girl? This vocal was pretty momentous in terms of developing the genre, really. It was absolutely crucial. Grime music went from being dusty samples made on PlayStations and Fruity Loops through to raves packed with people absolutely losing their head as soon as they heard just a snippet of this female vocal. It became a signifier, absolutely synonymous with what became a global genre. So how did it all begin? The track emerged in about 2006, 2007, officially on the first Rinse release. So Rinse FM was once a pirate radio station, now is a well-established underground station. Back when they started, they had a record label and this got on to the first release, a compilation. But it was doing the rounds before then. It was pre-internet and an offline grime world built up in VHS videos that did the rounds. At the point it got released, it was already getting reloaded in nightclubs, whether they were legitimate nightclubs or whether they were illegal raves. This was already doing the damage. It was influential for many reasons, partly because of how many people jumped on it. It just perpetuated that hype. It came to be used by huge amounts of people. Some of the earliest people to use it, Skepta and JME. I'm calm. I got the devil in my palm. No, I said that I wear sunglasses at night, but tonight I need to see what I go on. When I spray, everyone gets hacks. Jumping about, shouting, brat, brat. Doing bare things with their hands. That's how you know man's got bare fans. All right, I'm here to tell you where that's in. Come and show me where that's in to get. Run up in your house, it's in the name. When the mask drop back, where's your fingers in? Smack up, smack key always. STD, no ways. President T, what the A's. Celestia, we have our tanks and praise. Just another mic, man. Turn to a hitman. I said, kill off, could he? Go for a president's face. They get mangled in dangles. At the side of the back, I wear my tangles. Now they come on top of my cabin. And producers like FaZe Miyake, DJ Spyro as well is a notable producer. He's a presenter on BBC. He's presented on various grime shows and stations. <laughs> Even people like Flavor D, who are not even from the grime scene, she's a house producer, somehow have gotten their mitts on these stems and been able to rework and reword this absolutely seminal track. Every time someone reloaded it and reworked it, jumped on it and did their own bars over it, it just gained more and more momentum. So the story of the Rhythm and Gash Girl. What do we know about her? Not a huge lot. The stories are pretty fantastical, I have to say. Some people think that it's a chopped up version of a Whitney Houston sample. There's a DJ called DJ Andy Purnell who recently did a live stream and actually reverse engineered the lyrics to I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston, taking bits and pieces of it and working it into what was that Rhythm and Gash sample. You know nobody knows who sang the vocals on that tune. It's good. It's a good attempt, but it isn't what it was. A lot of people that I've spoken to are adamant that it's a UK vocal, and I'm inclined to agree. Because of that, it also rules out the other mystery and the other story, which is that it could be a New York trio called Sisters with Voices, who were a 90s group. And some people are of the opinion that it could be a sample from there. The Rhythm and Gash girl, rumour has it her name's Angela. We really don't know much more than that. We don't have a second name. We know that with PRS, you have about a three year window in terms of recovering royalties. We're well past that. and We've never had any kind of request for backdated PRS royalties. It would be in the hundreds of thousands of pounds if it was. Essentially, we think that she was just someone's partner, a producer's girlfriend or friend who came along. This happened a huge amount. There was so many undocumented vocals. Maybe they weren't native to the music industry. The Rhythm and Gash girl potentially is one of them, but she's something of a 
don't mean. If you talk to grime heads, if you talk to people in the industry and ask about stuff that is little known, those things that have got a bit of dust on them that people aren't quite sure about, it is sometimes referred to as an Angela. All we know is there's a person called Angela who voiced potentially the most influential grime track of the scene. So the producer was a guy called Rebound X. Real name, Benjamin Daru. The story behind who this guy was, he emerged in the early 2000s, was making tracks for his friends to MC over. Same sort of story as the rest of them. He put out a couple of releases. He was active on forums like RWD, Rewind Forum, which was a grime forum. The archives are still available and you can see conversations where people are trying to figure out who this guy was, where the track came from. Some people think he's the British Asian producer Naughty Boy, although that's unconfirmed. It's rumoured that his family came into some money. There was an article connected to him about his dad winning 62k on the lottery and that may be also being a reason why they dipped out. It turns out Rebound X's disappearance potentially stems from an online spat in early grime forum history. A lot of people reference a pretty embarrassing compromising photograph emerging onto one of these forums leading to Rebound X who was going to go on to become one of the most infamous grime producers of the early grime scene disappearing forever. We don't know what else happened to him. Whether he ever came back, I can't find any other evidence of him releasing anything else since. So moving forward to today, the question is, is it still a big track? Undoubtedly the answer is yes. You can still go to raves, you can still see boiler room streams with this track absolutely shutting the place down. Whether it's DJ EZ, whether it's grind DJs like Spyro, the Boy Better Know crew, Logan Sama, whoever it is, these guys are still pulling these records. It is still relevant and it is still crucial to the scene. Coming out of the UK, grime still is one of the biggest genres. Noted as a follow-up to punk in terms of anti-establishment, it's definitely something that is referred to as a voice of the people. And because of that, you see it in the charts. Heady One, AJ Tracy and Stormzy are in the top five currently at the time of recording. And grime music still continues to be at the top tier of music in the world today. So that's the story of the Rhythm and Gash sample. That's what we know so far. The mystery of Angela still lives on.